Let's take a look at finding the sum of the squared residuals on a TI3, TI4 calculator. First, let's um, <coughs> come up some data. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I don't know, 17, 40, 51, 62, and um, 63. Well, we're going to go put this into L1. We'll put this into L2. So let's do that first. So I'll press my stat button, do enter on edit. I already have numbers here, so I'm going to press delete on them to kind of clean them out. Each time you press delete, it'll delete the whichever one's highlighted. And uh, for L1, we got 1 through 5. So we're going to put our X values in L1. So do 1 enter, 2 enter, 3 enter, 4 enter, 5 enter. Now my right arrow over, <coughs> and uh, we're going to put our y values in L2. So I got 17 enter, 40 enter, 51 enter, 62 enter, and 63 enter. Okay, so now I'm going to exit out. So I'll do second mode, and we need to find y hat. Um, so we're going to do that next. So I'll press stat. And I'll write out a calc, and I want to choose the linear regression. Now, if your diagnostics is not on, you probably need to set that on first, and uh, see see my other video on on that. If you're, um, well, if you can't see my other video, you do set a second zero to go into the catalog, and you down arrow to diagnostics on, and you press enter twice. So it's it's not hard. Okay, I want to choose linear regression, and I press enter on it. And we get these values. Now, y hat, remember, is where we're taking the a and the b, you see right here, and we're plugging them into this equation. Well, what we're going to do, here's the general flow of where we're headed. We're going to put y hat into L3. And y hat is, um, we got 11.404a, so that's 11.4x and b is 12.4 so plus 12.4 so we're going to put that into L3 in L4 we're going to put in y minus y hat squared let's see how to do this I'm going to go into stat and go into edit so enter on edit I'm going to right arrow over to L3 now we said we're going to put um, y hat on there. Well, see where my cursor is? It's on this first blank. I'm going to up arrow until L3 is highlighted. And um, we're going to put it, put this in here. Now A, I could type that in, but if I go to VARS and choose number 5 for statistics, right arrow over to EQ, a is already um, right here. So I can press enter on A. And you see down here at the very bottom it says A. So that's going to be the 11.4. Now X is our L1. That's where we have our X values. So we're going to say times and then we'll do second 1. Now we want plus this which is B. So I'm going to say plus and I'll go into my VARs, choose number 5 for statistics, right arrow over to EQ, and I want to choose uh, B. Now see this right here, this is AX plus B, which is what we, what we found. What's the benefit of uh, getting A and B that way? Well, if A and B were really long, they weren't in this problem, they were pretty nice, nice and short. But if you got A that has seven or eight digits, then uh, this is a better way to do it. Now, when we press enter, what it'll do is it'll calculate. This is our Y hat. Now, I'm going to right arrow over to L4, and we're going to up arrow and highlight uh, L4 up here. Now, what we want to do is we want to put in Y minus Y hat squared. Now, think where your Y values are. <coughs> Your y values are in L2. So we're going to put in L2 minus 
Y hat. Think where your Y hat are. They're in L3. So I'll do L3 and then squared. That's exactly how we're going to type in the formula. So I'll do a beginning parentheses, and you have to have L4 highlighted before you do this. So I'll do beginning parentheses, no memory, what I say? L2. So I'll do second 2 minus second 3, closing parentheses, and then the X squared button. And then press enter. <coughs> okay. So um, this right here is a residual squared. They're in L4, so remember that. We're going to exit out. We do second mode. And then um, we want to go into our second stat. Right arrow over to math. And we want to choose sum. So I'm going to down arrow to it and press enter on it. Or you can press number 5 and it chooses it for you. And then I'm going to do second 4. Now that's where our residual squared were. So if I press enter on that, that's going to give us give us our sum of the sum of the squared residuals. So our answer to this uh, this problem here, using the calculator, uh, the sum of the squared residuals is equal to um, 145.6, and that's our answer. Uh, you know, if you're good with technology, you may click with that right away. If you're not so good with technology, you may find it easier to do it by hand, I mean, to be honest.